Hey guys, Joshua Damu here, and today I'm reviewing the True Heroes Mythical Warriors Army Men playset. This is gonna be awesome. Hey guys, Joshua Damu here, and today I'm reviewing the True Heroes Mythical Warriors Army Men. This is a very interesting set. You can see we have all kinds of mythical warriors. It, it pretty much is like a Lord of the Rings set. We even have a big red dragon here in the middle fighting everybody. Got a very cool bridge, some pillars. This pillar has a skull on it. This one has some other kind of symbol. Looks like I got things mixed up. I put this thing over here on this side with our what kind of looks like a a witch or or something like that, casting spells. But looks like that symbol right there matches up with it. My kind of way was they've captured one of the the good witches or something like that and they're over here trying to get them back along with their very merry band of heroes we have lots of these little candles floating around only one dragon sadly it'd be kind of fun if we had a blue dragon and everybody's just over here fighting now the breakdown of sides is a little bit confusing because everybody comes in the same grayish green also there's you know this guy Kind of, he looks kind of bad. Just kind of monstrous. And that's a scary axe. Her, she doesn't look very friendly. The skulls around her waist is kind of a tip-off. But everybody else just kind of looks like they could be a good warrior. Even this guy, he could just be one of the dwarves. But due to the lack of bad guys, in my opinion, I decided that maybe he just decided to join them this round. So we have our noble... Archer, um, not Legolas. <laughs> Clearly not, because <laughs> if it was, he'd have blonde hair, not green, right? <laughs> we got, you know, Conan the Barbarian. It's almost He-Man. <laughs> ah, oh, I will slay the dragon. He could be a bad guy, but he's just a little too awesome for that. Got our cool... You know, female assassin, probably a dwarf too, or not a dwarf, uh, an elf, probably from the elves as well. Yeah, this lady, the queen of something. <laughs> One of them has been captured. So, like in my opinion, this guy should just be up here. And boom, we've got Lord of the Rings, and we've got an evil witch and an orc, so to speak. We've also got a tombstone, just one of those. So. You know, a lot of these sets, they tend to have five sculpts or something like that for each side. And even if you put this guy down here, we're lacking. That, that needs improved. It, it really does. Not to complain, but needs some more variety. Because this is, concept-wise, this is a great idea. This is just an absolutely great idea. It just needs some improvement. These are not shown in the picture on the bucket that it came in bucket, so you can store them replay with them and they just feel like well you know we should throw something extra in hey let's take the sandbags from the world war ii set and throw that in yeah no no just no all better throw in a bigger rock something like that some trees trees would have been absolutely amazing we've got this cage which is pretty cool i've seen this cage sculpt around before and it can be a lot of fun it has an opening door so you can go rescue whoever's been captured and yay the world can be better there's a night set that this set would go great with as a accessory to maybe this guy could be fighting with your knights and or maybe all these guys are bad guys and they're supposed to fight against the knights i don't know the silver and black knight set the bridge is very very cool Got some nice construction to it. The pillars do as well. They look very ancient. The bridge is just a lot of fun. Our dragon is made of soft, flexible plastic, so you can play with him and have a lot of fun. So, you know, oh, just one last piece to cover. There's this thing here. We're not really sure what it is. Obviously, somebody stands on it. There's these big things covering it. And it matches up with the symbol over here. 
I figure spells or something get cast from it. Overall, like, concept-wise, this is a great idea. Delivery leaves something to be desired. We need more sculpts. The sandbags should not be in there. Some trees should have been put in instead. And, uh, you know, the, the candlesticks are kind of cool, but I don't know what to do with them. They're just kind of here on the ground, lighting everything on fire. If, if there were more sculpts, this would be a 10 out of 10. I don't really have a grading scale for every set that I review, but if there were more sculpts and these had been removed and two trees been put in, perfect. Also, add a blue dragon, just because. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Now you'll know whether this is worth your time or not. Please like, favorite, and subscribe as I post an army toy style review every Friday. I also post a different toy review just about every other day on this channel. Also, please like me on Facebook, Joshua Gandama. There's a link down below. Also, there's a link for my eBay store where a lot of the toys I review end up. So check that out too. See you guys later.